इधर इधर
till it's all head to the place where his divine grace covers all.
have a reading from the Guru Granth Sahib. All virtues are obtained, all truths and rewards, and the desires of the mind. My hopes have been totally fulfilled. Lust, anger, egotism, jealousy, and desire are eliminated by chanting the name of the Lord. If you want to cultivate a habit, do it without any reservation till it is firmly established, until it is so confirmed, until it becomes a part of your character. Let there be no exception, no relaxation of effort. Namo Buddha. <laughs>
our joy here with us today, Chief Guest Father Jerry Kutimba SJ, Jesuit Provincial Jamshedpur Province, and Guest of Honor, Reverend Father Gyan Prakash, Parish Priest, St. Anthony's Church, Dunba, Father Oscar Hopro, SJ, our superior, and the fathers and sisters. On behalf of one and all present here, I welcome you all. Also, I welcome and thank all the principals of our unit schools, vice principals, editors, teachers, our teachers, staff, and the students. Taking a keen part in this platinum jubilee function and make it, making it successful. Once again, well, all of you. God bless us all. Thank you. I request Father Michael T. Fernandez S.J., assisted by Madam Tanushri Banerjee, to kindly do the honors of presenting the sapling and the shawl. First and foremost, we welcome our Honorable Chief Guest, Father Jerry Kutina S.J., Provincial Jamshedpur Jesuit Province. Father, we are very happy to have you here. Your presence amidst us is a great honor for us. We are very privileged to have you here amongst us, Father. Our guest of honor, Father Gyan Prakash Tokno, Dean of the Dhanbad Deanery, Parish Priest of St. Anthony's Church, Dhanbad. Father, we are very privileged to have you amongst us. Your presence has definitely made this day more cherishable. We gather here to tell you on this very special day we're all so very happy to wish and to you say. Join in the celebration 
You have scintillated the stage. <laughs>
uplifts me. Teaching to be true and simple is an essence. To deserve all as I deserve becomes diligence. Giving the need without counting the cost. Laboring without seeking rest. Mission first and others next. Taking discernment process when a dilemma is the best. May we invite you to a profound experience of a person who brought in a spiritual revolution to a world that was slipping into consumerism, materialism, and spiritual decadence. Born in a family culture of high Catholic piety, but lacks morals. He was the youngest of 13 children and spent most of his childhood and youth in royal courts. He was raised to be a courtier and diplomat in service to the crown, having received a chivalric yet academically sparse education, typical of his class. At the age of 16, he was sent to a page to the treasurer of a castile where he, as a member of Velasquez, was frequently at court and developed a taste for all. He was a fancy dresser, an expert dancer, a flirt, sensitive to insult, and a rough, punky swordsman. Hey, 
In the spring of 1521, he, as an officer, was defending the fortress of the town of Pamplona against the French, who claimed the territory as their own against Spain. I want the world under my feet Honor and glory, all I'll seek Shield and sword in my hands, I will fight cannonball shattered his leg and put an end to his resolve. The French admired the courage of the man and carried him on a litter back home to his castle of Loyola. His leg was not the only thing that had been shattered. His image of himself as a handsome, dashing courtier, everything that he had ever lived for was shattered too. The broken lip was not properly set, the bone protruded in a way that would show through the tight horse that the courtier wore. So much as to be something ugly. He insisted on having the leg rebroken and reset. There was, of course, no anesthetic. In the end, one leg was still shorter than the other, which made him limp the rest of his life. During the weeks of recuperation, he was extremely bored and asked for some romantic nobles to pass the time. There were no such books in the castle of Loyola, but he was given two books to read. The Golden Legend, a collection of stories of the saints and the life of Christ. While reading these books, he challenged himself to follow the examples of the saints, especially the examples of Saint Francis and Saint Dominic. He was deeply moved by the love of Jesus and continuously thought, What have I done for Christ? What am I doing for Christ? What more shall I do for Christ? What am I doing with my life? These people on earth have done so much good during their time on earth. And what have I done so far? He began to discipline his body, rising at midnight to spend hours mourning for his sins. When he recovered from his wounds enough to travel. He left Loyola Castle in March of 1522. He mounted a mule and went on a pilgrimage to Our Lady of Montserrat. A shrine in the mountains above Barcelona. <laughs> Thank you. 
On arriving, he left his sword at the altar and said, God, that's all what I have left from my previous life on earth. I'll be a new man from now onwards. Thank you for showing me the way and help me to reach every soul. in a notebook which later became the spiritual exercises he wanted to live, work and die like the disciples of Jesus. What a coincidence at the age of 33 Jesus died on the cross. At the age of 33 Inigo now known as Ignatius began his second life back to school studying Latin grammar in Barcelona for proper education. After two years, he moved on to the University of Alcala. There, his zeal got him into trouble. He would gather students and adults to explain matters about religion and teach them how to pray. His efforts attracted the attention of the church authorities. He was thrown into jail for 42 days. His crime was teaching religion without proper education. They found no error in his teaching, so when he was released, he was told to avoid instructing others. At the University of Paris, he shared a room with Francis Xavier and Peter Faber. Xavier was the hardest nut to grab interested as he was mainly in worldly success and honors. He greatly influenced a few fellow students, directing them in the way he experienced God in his life through the spiritual exercises. In 1539, all of them gathered in Rome, spent many weeks of prayer and discussion about their future. And they decided to form themselves into a group, Society of Jesus, in which they would take vows of poverty, 
just a deed and obedience. Later on, he was unanimously elected as the first superior general of the Society of Jesus on April 8, 1541 and reluctantly accepted the office. Many princes and cities in Italy, Spain, Germany and the Low Countries begged Ignatius for Jesuit. He made it a rule that anyone sent abroad should be fluent in the language of the country so that he could serve and preach effectively. He sent Francis Xavier to India, the first Jesuit to arrive in India in 1541, who worked in India for some time and later moved to Japan. And after completing a few years of missionary work there, he, with the intention of going to China, died on the coast on December 3rd, 1552. Due to excessive fasting and penance in the early years after conversion, Ignatius suffered from stomach ailments and they became increasingly troublesome in Rome. Ignatius died on 31st July, 1556. He was proclaimed a saint in 1622, along with his dear companion, Francis Xavier. The church and the Jesuits celebrate the feast day of Saint Ignatius Loyola on 31st July, the day he died.
They consoled me. sword and all my weapons please forgive me lord my desire to dedicate my life in the service of god grew stronger with me i learned to discern how i could better direct my life and come to find god more easily i started serving and looking up the under privileged and to the down trodden people i tended the sick and help those who needed my attention. With the help of Francis Xavier and Peter, I spread the word of God in different parts of the world. I called this religious group as the society or companion of Jesus. We will follow at my 
Toyota, Dei Gloria, which means for the greater glory of God and salvation of humanity. Any work that we do, Peter and Francis should be spiritually meritorious in order to give glory to God. For me, the word magic has a great significance. It means greater work, and we Jesuits use it to mean choosing the greater work in what we do and always strive for excellence. I sent my disciples Francis and Peter to different parts of the world, including India. ways to find God. Find Him among young people who pick for a meaningful future. Look the earth which grows and longs for healing. See the countless poor, refugees and outcasts yearning for justice. Friends, let us practice magic which is related to Ad Mayorum Dei Gloria, the motto of Jesuits. Badges refers to the philosophy of doing more for Christ and therefore doing more for others. God invites you all to seek Him and find Him in all things. We Jesuits insist on some social value like magic, love, justice, equality, fraternity, liberty, and discipline. So let us all strive to work for the greater good of the society. The Ignatian principle, love for nature. He started a movement which changed the lives of around 43 lakhs of people. He was truly a man who was born with a person. This play is a tribute. They got out of their way and helped the mankind with their vision. I don't like this at all. This foreigner is crossing all of his limits. Imagine his insolence. He is trying to teach me how to run the affairs of this whole village. Whole of my life I have been doing so. And now he wants to meet me. Why? For what? Yes, indeed. I have my own apprehensions. He should have gone along with other English people back to his country. Did Gandhi not get us independent? Were all the foreigners not supposed to leave the country in 1947? It is very surprising that this Gora Sahib chose to stay in Ahmednagar. And that is what troubles me. Why would a Gora Sahib choose to stay in Ahmednagar? A drought stricken area where we don't have basic necessities such as roads and electricity. Oh, this place doesn't even have food and water. Every year during summer, we face severe drought. The temperature goes high and the land seems a big low. 
I know, I know. How many times I tried to convince the people to leave this place and go to places such as Pune or Nashik, but nobody wants to leave this place. Even after summer, our goals do not end. The situation gets worse during the monsoon. That makes it about six months. So for six months. We are fighting for our survival. And the Skora Sahib chooses to stay at this forsaken place, leaving all the comforts of the cities like Delhi and Bombay. Let's wait and see. I was surprised when that madam came to me and told me that Bachar Baba wants to meet me today. I couldn't tell her no. It seems that he has come. Go and open the door. Namaskar, Mukhya Ji. Kasa kai, Dada? How are you? Namaskar, Dada. Namaskar, Bahini. Atithi Devo Bhava. Won't you offer a chair to sit down, Mukhya Ji? Manju, get him a chair. Bahini, please don't misunderstand Baba. He has come with a proposal. Proposal? What proposal? Don't worry, Dada. Anna will explain you everything. Dada, we all know about the problems faced by the farmers of Ahmednagar. For about four months in a year, our lands are unusable due to severe drought. And then another three months of heavy rain makes our fields to be flooded. By the time the rain water recedes, another two months pass by. Thanks. We all know these things. It is the sins of our forefathers for which we are paying with our blood. No, by me. Don't say like that. Nature can never curse. You know, God is creating all things. From the smallest pebbles to the mightiest mountain. And from a single drop of water to huge oceans, God is present in everything and in everywhere. We are the children of God. Can a father ever curse his own child? Never, Bahini, never. You are talking about your God or my God? Bahini, I am not talking of your God or my God. I am talking of our God. The God who has created the day and the night. The God who has created the land and the oceans. The God who has created this entire universe. Baba, if he is our father, then why does he trouble us so much? Why he does not give us enough food to eat, enough water to drink? Why he has not bestowed the bountiful nature to the people of Mandagar? Who said that he has not bestowed the people of Mandagar with bountiful nature? Dada, he has given us so much. We only need to look what he has given to us. We are lacking in our faith for him. I did not understand, Baba. Bahini, it's our fault that we don't love him. We don't love the nature, his biggest gift to mankind. You know, Dada, our Guru, Saint Ignatius, said that if you really want to love God, love nature. Because God manifests himself through various forms in the nature. Master Baba, we have already decided to leave this place and go to Pune. Bahini, but what will you do there? Will you be able to leave the place where you were born? People of this village don't have enough food to eat, enough water to drink. The drought has extended itself by a month. And when the rain starts, Baba, we will starve. Yes, Baba. This village does not have enough resources to last another three months of flood. We need to forsake this place before the rain starts. I have made up my mind. 
people of this village will move to Pune by the end of this week. Dada, trust me. If you don't want to trust me, trust God. These 15 to 20 days before the race are very crucial. Just support me once and we all will see that God is doing miracles with us. And now, explain whatever I have in my mind. Dada, you are very influential among the villagers in and around Ahmednagar. The population here is 5,000 and if we include the neighboring villages by using your relation with their mukhyas, we can easily mobilize 25,000 people in and around Ahmednagar. So, Bahini, groundwater is a precious resource. Once you extract it, it can only be replenished by rainwater. But in this case, the rain water is not able to replenish our underground water table. As a result, during summers, our wells go dry and we are left with no water for drinking. The problem is that the limited rain which we get flows over the land to the seasonal rivers and is of no use to us. But what can be done about that? We cannot ask the running water to stop. No. But we can surely make running water to walk and walking water to soak, which will in turn replenish the underground water. This will also help us to tackle the menace of green water. Dada, the very first thing we need to do is to call the Mukhyas of the neighboring villages. Once we get their support, we will have 25,000 people with us. Now these 25,000 people will be divided into 5 groups. Each group will be under a Mukhya. These 5 groups will be further divided into 10 groups of 500 people each. Each group will be under a Sardar. A Sardar will divide his group of 500 into 10 smaller groups of 50 each. Each group will be under a Thingidar. But what for all of this is going to be done? Getting 25,000 men is not a simple job, Bahini. From where are they going to get so many men? Who said? We are talking only about men here. We need everybody with us, including the aides and the women. How are we going to come and get the other men? One, not from our family. Now we will go to the school. We are not even allowed in it. Bahini. Don't underestimate your kind. You can move mountains. Is there a lot of women like you? Is she not out in the sun buzzing along with me? Trust yourself. Let them explain. Anna, go ahead and explain the whole plan. The idea is to prevent the rain water from flowing over the land. So, the women and the people will do the planning work. Their work will be to identify those patches of land where land controls are nearer and we have somewhat a sea plan. Now these identified patches of land will be under a thekedar. The thekedar will indulge his group to make ridges and to cut bunts to slow the flow of water. Meanwhile, the other groups will dig well every half a kilometer so that the rainwater which flows over the highlands come and fill these wells and only a little is left to flood our home. By this, we can easily replenish our underground water table to at least last a year. And don't forget, we need to plant millions of saplings as well before the rain. These plants are going to hold the soil and slow down the flow of water. This will also help the water to percolate the upper layer of soil and reach the underground water table. But from where are they going to get the money for all of this? From where are they going to get food for so many people? Don't worry, Dada. We will see. Remember, God is our Father. He is never going to leave His children with faith. We just need to strengthen our faith for Him. Remember, if we love God, we have to love nature. Through nature, our God is with us. Tomorrow, I'll come to take you all with me. To the other villages. Hope so, some miracle will happen by then. Next day, miracle will happen. This social movement of Father Badger was approved by the German government and the foundation of 
Indo German watershed development model was laid, which later on became the national model and was implemented across the country, changing periods of life forever. Adversities are like what it was a few centuries ago. The blood of love and faith in the veins now ceases to flow. The fire in the present ideologies has burned down to ashes. Their delicate morality, such a way that they have started questioning your very existence. You, my messenger, my dear son, speak no lie. The sacred thread of faith and belief that once brought humanity close to me has begun to wear out and now I dwell in the questions more than I dwell in the thoughts. The restlessness in the thought has curtailed the truth that you are the answer to their questions. Their doubts are specks of darkness, the minds of these souls and I think it's time that the brightness of your aura and light is the light. Let me usher in the light and dispel the darkness and make them realize that the questions that they pose about my presence are in fact paths that will lead them to the answer. And when they'll see this light at the end of the tunnel, they shall realize that I had been there all along, just shadowed by their doubts. The clamor, the shimmer, this looks like the best day of the year. And I know what makes this the best day of the year. Do not dig the actual fire that ignites each one of you. The faith in God. Stop being materialistic in your attitude. Rather, look at the world, how God has created it and how he maintains it. It seems she has gone crazy even before having a sip of drink. You are more like unscientific and irrational and very much superstitious. Be realistic. Dear friends, enjoy the time we are here on the earth. Condition is critical. 
there is need for an urgent operation and you are required to deposit a sum of 10 lakhs in the counter. 10 lakhs? Please try to understand ma'am what he needs at the moment is professional help. Oh God, I know you exist, but where are you? I see the bright distance, hopes fading. I am restless. If you are there, and then please show a sign. This is a tough time for all of us. He is our son as much as he is yours. At this very moment, I know this isn't a lot, but I think I can manage to arrange 5 lakhs out of the 10 lakhs needed to make the surgery possible. Aunty, to ease our miseries, we can take help from donation campaigns and I have created an account with all the details of the hospital and room's condition. Your generosity melts my heart. Thanks to the Lord for blessing me with such lovely people around me. Forget all those doubts about your existence for our present. I feel caressed by the divine touch of yours. We have to proceed with the surgery urgently, and I hope you have made all the arrangements for the money. A total of 500 people have donated whatever they could. Technology is indeed a boon in time of need. The generosity and concern shown by those people who donate the money are the hands of God that we experience in this world. We are undeniably no strangers to this unbreakable chain of humanity. Mrs. Your child is out of danger. The surgery was successful. It's all because of the collective efforts of the so many good Samaritans. Good heavens! Thank God! Our son is finally safe. Thank you so much, Doctor. We are so elated to welcome you. Friends, let us prepare a grand homecoming. His wealthy has added no meaning to the celebration. Your love for my son is so pure and precious. What makes you so generous? Oh no, where are you? Is this you? Manifested your love, concern and generosity through these children. Oh, dear lady, are a answer to the magnanimity that you just witnessed. People question my existence, being oblivious to the fact that I have been there all along. These humans and their good deeds that made me. I apologize. My insignificant human brain cannot comprehend your divine face. Kind lady, what would you do if I asked you to bring me water? I would go and get a finest vessel and pour some water and bring it to you. But I only ask for water. Why would you bring a vessel? How am I supposed to bring that water without a vessel to hold it? Yes, you are absolutely correct in your thoughts. Because the ultimate truth is that God exists. And whatever you see and experience is from which holds my existence. I am truth. I am existence. I am the beginning of dawn. 
I am the end of all endings. I am divinity. I am eternity. I am you. I am God. हर काम में आगे मैं ना किसी से डरी थी पैसों की थोड़ी कमी थी पर परिवार में प्यार बहुत था और हम सब के लिए बस वही बहुत था माँ हर साल कहती बस आज तो रुक जा तेरी लाल बत्ती की गाड़ी कल मेरी सवारी होगी और पापा कहते चांद सी बेटी है मेरी एक दिन एक राजकुमार आएगा इसके आंखों में पल रहे सपनों को एक खूबसूरत सा रूप दे जाएगा एक लड़की को बहुत पसंद थी मैं पर अपने ही सपनों में मगन थी मैं बड़ा इंसान बनने की चाहत थी मेरी पर उस लड़की से बर्दाश्त ना हुआ ये कहता जिस चेहरे पे तुझे नाज है याद रख वो सिर्फ आज है उसे मुझे पाने की सनक थी 
पर मुझे इस बात की ना भनक थी ये ले तेरे चेहरे पर तेजाब है दुनिया क्या अपने आप को भी नहीं पहचान पाएगी तू तेरे हर चीख तुझे मेरी याद दिलाएगी तेजाब चेहरे पे नहीं मेरी किस्मत पे डाला है जिंदगी में सिर्फ एक दिन बचा है जो काला है
तेरी मैं नस्लों को मिटा दूंगी इस दुनिया में माँ बहने रिश्ते नहीं है काली है इस दुनिया से परे आता के रिश्ते सारे Thank you, friends. It was a fine presentation from DNS Global. It was truly exhilarating. What I have done for Christ, what I am doing for Christ, what I ought to do for Christ. Madness is this desire to do more for Christ, more for the glory of God, more to grow into ourselves. The future for many of us can be daunting and frightening. It's unknown and uncertain. But when you look at your future in the spirit of madness, it becomes exciting.
religion is a collection of organized beliefs and worldviews. The essence of all religions is one. Only their approaches are different. The disrespect of religion leading to fights and conflicts is a serious issue facing in our times. All religions share common teachings, beliefs and morals to live by such as compassion, peace, non-violence and kindness. Let us spread the message of love and peace. Let us resolve to practice love and promote unity and peace to build a harmonious world. Oh, thank you. 
for the Oscar, the director of the Nobelies, for the Mike, the director of the Nobelies, Jay Gordon, <laughs> Mrs. Tanushri, the principal of the host, D.N. Skoradi, other principals of uh, nine the Nobelies schools and three vernacular schools in Trundi, Gomo and Chile. Respected teachers of all the unit schools, the students, the parents, the members of the media, and the other fathers come from far and wide. There are four fathers come from all the way from Bhuvishwa. And uh, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, 
this gives me immense joy. I'm sure you too. To participate in this Platinum Jubilee celebrations of Jamsha Pujasvit Province. The, the programs that students have enacted here, the different programs demonstrate and highlight very well the, the Jesuit characteristic of education, the Jesuit spirituality, Jesuit culture, ethos, beautifully well. To understand Jesuit spirituality and the characteristics of Jesuit education, one need to know the mind of Ignatius, the heart of Ignatius, and the life of Ignatius, which was first of all enacted beautifully and gave the message in a very beautiful way. And the other the values that were uh, given on the care for the person, the unity of mind and heart, the margis, admiring their glory, and MDG for the greater glory of God, the contemplative in action, finding God in all things. I don't have to explain all this, you already, the children have done very beautifully well. The, the Society of Jesus. Uh, considers the education of the students as an important means for forming the character of individuals and communicating human values. The Society of Jesus stated the purpose of education as to form men and women for others and with others. And the focus on four C's that is conscience, competence, compassion, and commitment, four C's. And uh, these gives give the, the objectives of Jesuit education. Thus, the academic excellence, an important, uh, a fundamental dimension in Jesuit schools within the context of training for integral human excellence. It is this integral human excellence that gives purpose to academic excellence. And uh, thus they have beautifully demonstrated and highlighted in the different programs they are presented here before you. The Society of Jesus has survived many storms of all sorts in four and a half centuries. Started in 1540. Now, therefore, it is 482 years of existence of the Society of Jesus in, the, in different parts of the world. St. Ignatius founded with his other nine companions. The first, first started the school in 1548. 1548, that means 475 years. You can imagine the number of students that have gone through the portals of Jesuit institutions throughout the globe in these 475 years and now still educating thousands of students in the globe in different countries of the world. And as we're celebrating here Platinum Jubilee, Jubilee is a time, the moment to honor the founding fathers and founding fathers, mothers. First of all, we remember uh, the founding fathers of the Society of Jesus Ignatius together with St. Francis Xavier and other eight companions in the 1540s. And you can also remember the successive generations of the Jesuits throughout the world, thousands of them. Uh, and also we remember the founding fathers of the of the Jamshedpur Jesuit province. That is, in these seventy-five years, we cannot forget the other seventy-five years before the Maryland Maryland Jesuits came into to Jamshedpur. That is, the first Jesuit 
came into Chaibasa Kampani in Jharkhand in 1868, that is uh, 154 years ago. And how the Belgian missionaries prepared the, the solid foundation for the American Jesuits to grow and develop the education ministry, the mission of education in Jamshedpur. So we recall gratefully all those Belgian and American missionaries. And as we celebrate the, the Platinum Jubilee at this zonal level, Dhanwad Zoo, we gratefully remember a few stalwarts. The first of all, Father Francis McFarlane, Frank McFarlane, Father George Hess, you have to name these two, uh, the first principal of Digwari, Francis McFarlane, George, Father George Hess, is an architect of the branch schools in different parts of this Quran, sorry, this uh, Koyleri, this uh, Dhanbad area. So we remember, as we remember these founding fathers, and also we remember the teachers and other, uh, those who have worked with them, teaching and non-teaching staff, and other well-wishers who have supported these Jesuit missionaries in these 75 years. We gratefully remember all of them and how they built these institutions. And uh, the, also we remember the support of all the alumni, how they have contributed in their own way in building these institutions, promoting these institutions. We remember the, at this moment, we remember all those who have been part of our lives in these institutions and the contribution that they have made directly or indirectly. And this Jubilee year, the motto of the Jubilee year has been moved by grace. The, the motto for the Golden Jubilee was surprised by grace. And so therefore we have chosen that moved by grace. It has moved us further by the surprise, the grace of God. And the sub things, remember the past, past meaning, the people as well as the events and the different milestones that we have covered. The second sub thing is rejoice in the present, the people that we are working with and for, and the things that we do with the grace of God. And also the reimagine the future. It is not that we are satisfied with the status quo, there is the magis that the students presented here, the magis, the more, what more we can do, in what more, more we can do to the people of God, people of this area, and whatever that those who want our, uh, our services, the needy, the marginalized. So we remember these people who are working, worked with us, working with us, uh, and thank God for all these, all the graces that God has blessed us with in these 75 and other 75 years in this part of the world and also the entire Jamshukku province. I particularly thank the host principal, this is Dhanushri, Dhanuji. You can see that the work that has been done, the preparation and the hard work that has been put in in this work place, particularly in collaboration with other principals of other other schools, in which schools in here in Tanwar. Uh, I was told and that they are, uh, they are, they stay put here for a few days uh, to make these all these programs happen. Warm um, the heartfelt congratulations as well as gratitude, all appreciations to the principal, the teaching staff here, the students, the support staff, non-teaching staff for uh, doing a wonderful job in the organizing this program. And we pray to God that God may bless us all, all those who are associated with these anomalies and other units of uh, Dhanbad, uh, the Jesuit schools here, and also all our schools in Jamshapur Jesuit province. May God bless us all and thank you one and all. Thank you, Samaira. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Good afternoon to one and all present here. 
it is my great honor and privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. It has been a spectacular journey for the province. And we are so fortunate, Father, that we could be a tiny part of the noble endeavors of the Jesuit Fathers. We salute the founding fathers of the Jamshedpur Jesuit Society and all others who have nurtured it and given it a culture of excellence. With gratitude to God, while we are celebrating 75 grace-filled years, let us remember the past, rejoice the present, and reimagine the future. We are here today not as 12 different schools, but we are here today as one big family. Not only do we work together, but we also respect, love, trust, and care for one another. Dear all, it is said that in togetherness as a team, castles are built and our greatest strength is our togetherness. So with this spirit of togetherness, I thank all of you for making this inaugural program of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of the Jamshedpur Jesuit Province Dhanbad Zone a success. Let me first of all start by glorifying the Almighty for giving us the opportunity to host this. I thank the Divine Providence for giving us clement weather and bringing us together to cherish this day. Then I thank our dear Father Provincial, our chief guest, Father Jerry Kutina SJ, who we all know how busy he is, but we simply are so grateful to him for being with us right from the beginning till the end of the celebration. Thank you, Father. Your presence here with us is a source of big encouragement and motivation to all of us. I also thank Father Gyan. Your presence amidst us this morning and this afternoon has brightened up our day. Thank you so much. I do express my heartfelt thanks to eminent dignitaries who have come all the way from Bhuvaneshwar. Our former provincial, our former director, Father George Fernandez SJ, our former rectors, Father George Thana and Father E.A. Augustine, for their benign presence and the valuable contribution to the institutions in the coal field. Fathers, we can only speak of the bond and of the love and respect that we have for you that has drawn you to us again as we celebrate this day. Thank you so much. We are truly touched and grateful to you. We gratefully acknowledge the guidance, motivation and support of our own Rector, Father Oscar Horo SJ and our Director, Father Michael P. Fernandez SJ in all our activities and encouraging the students and the teachers to excel in all academic and co-curricular activities. I would also like to thank all the members of the clergy who are present here with us today in and around Dhanbad who have joined us for the celebrations. Sincere thanks to all the principals, vice principals, coordinators, teachers and guests for your august presence. Special thanks to all the teachers who have trained the students for all the cultural programs. It was such beautiful, meaningful programs that we were in school, I feel so, have performed so wonderfully and they have brought out the themes and the concepts given to them in such a creative manner. Thank you teachers, 
Thank you, children. Heartfelt thanks to the anchors of the day, the choir members of both Sindri and Koradi, and all the budding artists who have entertained us with their spell-binding performances. Father Jerry, who thanked me, I could do this only with the help of my team. We have an excellent team here at DNS Koradi. So a special thanks to our Koradi teachers, my two coordinators, the student volunteers, decorators, light and sound team, the photographer and the support staff members of DNS Koradi for making all the necessary arrangements to make this day a grand success. My vote of thanks will remain incomplete. If I do not thank, I thank all the principals, but special mention I have to make uh, of three of them. To Mr. C.S. Francis, Principal DNS Sindri, and his music teacher, Mr. Ravi Shankar Chakravarti, and the quiet children of DNS Sindri for helping us in conducting such a beautiful interfaith prayer service. I would also like to thank Ms. Sharmishna Mazundar, Principal of DNS Mugma, and her art teacher, Mr. Promit Das. You can see this beautiful backdrop, the side wings. This is all his artistic, his uh, workmanship. And of course, Mr. G.T. Kennedy, principal of DNS CMRI, he has been relentlessly helping us in all tiny and small things. I don't think I can say in what way, Mr. Kennedy, but thank you so much for all the small helps that you have given to Koradi time and again. Once again, on behalf of all of the entire Dinobili School Koradi, I thank each and every one of you for being with us and sharing your precious, precious time. May the God bless us all. I always end by saying, Hail Dinobili. So again, I end by saying, Hail Dinobili. And this is only the beginning. We have three more days of beautiful celebration. Thank you so much.